Hey everybody, it's James here at the Sawyer Family Reviews channel. Today is Wednesday, February 12th, 2020, and this is your weekly comic book pickups video. Every week I pick up my sons and my daughter some comic books, and I pick up some for me as well. I always pick them up at Queen City Comics in Fairfield, Fairfield Ohio, zip code 45014. If you're in the area and into comics, check out that shop, and while you're over there, go to the toy department, your one-stop shop for collectible toys in Cincinnati. All right? Let's jump in. True Believers, number one. True Believers are $1 reprints of classic Marvel tales that are tied into something that's currently going on. In this case, they're tied into the Iron Man 2020 relaunch event thing that Marvel's doing. Uh, so there was two this week. I only grabbed this one, though, because the other one was a Machine Man. I don't know how much interest the boys have in Machine Man. But I did grab this Wolverine reprint, and this is good stuff, man. Larry Hama and Mark Silvestri from Wolverine issue 37 with the first appearance of Albert. Well, I, I think it's the first appearance of Albert, which is the robot Wolverine. You got some awesome, awesome Mark Silvestri art. Probably my favorite Wolverine slash X-Men artist. Uh, Larry Hama writing. He's awesome too. So yeah, this is, this is a must pick up. For $1, you must pick this up. Next up, we've got a facsimile edition, which these are different than the True Believers in that these are as close as you can get to earning the original issue. I have this issue of Wolverine. This is the first issue of Wolverine from the limited series done by Frank Miller and Chris Claremont, uh, but you get all the vintage ads reprinted. That's why these are $3.99, because they have no current ads inside. It's all a straight reprint. If you've never read the Wolverine miniseries by Chris Claremont and Frank Miller, you are missing out. It's fantastic. It's the Wolverine movie was heavily based on it, The Wolverine. Uh, yeah, so... I remember this ad so much, these Megaforce. Um, yeah, man. This is great stuff. If you want to test it out, though, here's your way of doing it for $3.99. Here we go with another kind of reprint type of deal. We've got Marvel Tales featuring Wolverine. This is for me. And the cost on this guy is 8 bucks, but you get these three comics reprinted. You get Uncanny X-Men 162, X-Men number 4, the first appearance of Mega Red, and X-Men 25, which is where Wolverine... Had the adamantium ripped out of him and is coping with that afterwards. Um, so we've got a classic tale about the brood. And then we've got the Wolverine Gambit dunk off. And the first appearance of Omega Red. And then we've got, this is Kubert, Andy Kubert. And I think, I can't remember who wrote this. Was it Scott Liddell, maybe? I got to know. Maybe it might be Fabian Nicieza. It's either Fabian Nicieza or Scott Liddell. Of course, it's going to be one of those deals. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to find it. So this is the one actually where he gets the adamantium ripped out. It's it's X Men where he copes with it, I guess. No, it's the Wolverine. Okay. Rewind, pause, stop, go back. Uh, it's X. It's Wolver. It's X Men Twenty Five where he gets it ripped out, and Wolverine. Um, here we go. Yep, Fabian Nicieza, Andy Kubert. It's Wolverine Seventy Five where he copes with it. So sorry about that. When I said that earlier, but this is cool and an awesome cover. Really awesome cover. Next up is for Gracie Marvel Action Spider Man Number One from Marvel and IDW. I don't know why they went back to number one on this. That's kind of weird. So Brandon Easton and Fico Asio. Yeah, that's weird that they went back to number one. I feel like this has been going for a while. And now we're back to one. Either way, she loves Spider-Verse, so she'll dig on this. $3.99. Okay, so these are for Blaze. Blaze didn't have any current books this week. So I remember, I, I listened to the Cartoonist Cafe, but I'm watching on YouTube, which is the um, YouTube channel for Ed Piscor and Jim Rugg. And they talk about like a lot of comics and old wizard magazines and stuff like that. And I, I'm almost positive it was on there that they talked about this Conan the Adventurer comic, which is, the title is like the um, animated series that was out in the 90s. But they said that this comic is a really just good Conan comic. So I grabbed three of these guys 
for three bucks each for Blaze. I'm not going to bust them out of there to show you the creative teams. But they recommended these as just being good, fun Conan books. And I mean, these covers are great. And they're only three bucks each. So I grabbed those for him. So there's those. This is for uh, Keaton. This is brand new this week. Venom 23, legacy numbering 188, cost of $3.99. And this is Donny Cates and Bagley. Venom Island Part 3. Keaton's really enjoyed this Venom Island story so far. You can't go wrong with Bagley art. You can't go wrong with Kate's writing right nowadays. He's killing it. So, yeah, this will be a, a good one for a read. And then we've got X-Force number 7. There's one for me and one for Keaton by Benjamin Percy and Bazaldua. Bazaldua. X-Force has been really good. So they're like this covert team. They're tracking down this, this group it's kind of hunting and killing mutants. It's it's my favorite of the current X titles. I think this is a different artist that has been on this book so far. But there's like this group and they're hunting down mutants. So the X-Force team, which is like the covert team of X-Men, are going after them. So you got a cool team. You got cool writing. It's an adventure story. It's action-packed. It had mystery angle for a while there. X-Force is my favorite of the X books. And then we've got X-Men number six. One for me and one for Keaton. I've been getting all these Dark Phoenix 40th Anniversary variants. So this one's for me. And this is by Hickman. And... We have to look at the inside. Oh, uh, X-Force is $3.99. This is $3.99, right? Yep. I'm trying to find this creative team. This is definitely not the same artist that I'm used to. X-Men's been kind of... I don't know. A little hit or miss. There's been a couple slow issues... Matteo Bafagni. Yeah, this is not the same artist. There's been a couple slow ones. The story's kind of moving around a bit from issue to issue. It doesn't. It's not as kind of linear as X Force has been, where you feel like you're following just one story. I guess that's Hickman's style to kind of move around a lot. Not really digging this art on this one either. Uh, so here's the deal with the X Men right now. Uh, I've dropped, I'm dropping Excalibur. Excalibur came in this week. I'm done with Excalibur. It's not that great. I feel myself having to force myself into reading some of these now. So I dropped Excalibur. I never even read, I'm going to switch hands here because my hand's getting tired. I never even read Fallen Angels. So I'm not going to go any further with Fallen Angels. I don't really enjoy Marauders. So that one's gone. So I'm dropping a lot of these. I dropped Marauders, Fallen Angels, and Excalibur now. I'm down to X-Men, X-Force, and New Mutants. With New Mutants, I don't know how much further I'm going to go on that, because I really don't like the back and forth between the Hickman story and the Ed Brisson story. I want just just the Hickman New Mutants. I don't want the other ones. So I may just pick up just the ones with Hickman and that team. The one thing I'm really, really not enjoying as it goes further and further with these X-Books is the resurrection angle, where they don't really, there's no consequence. They don't have to care anymore because they can just be resurrected on Krakoa. They can just die and come right back. So it's like, it's not a big deal. There's no weight to the stories, because it's like, oh, well, if they die, then they'll just bring them back. So I wish that angle would go away. I, I thought it was an interesting bit for the House of X, Dawn of X stuff, but now it's it's actually like a disservice to the stories for them to be able to do that. Um, so, yeah, that's where I'm at with the X-Books. I dropped a couple. I, I plan on keeping with X-Men, X-Force, and New Mutants, if one's going to go, I'm, I'm going to say it, but it's probably going to be X-Men, uh, Afternoon Mutants. X-Force will probably stick with me. I, I really like X-Force so far. So this is top of my reading pile, but I'm looking forward to re looking through that Marvel Tales, too, and reading some of those old books. Um, what are you guys reading this week? Leave a comment down below, notify, click, subscribe, all that jazz. Uh, yeah, see you guys next week.